Today on the Canadian Arcade, we go to London. So a buddy of mine in London has something really, really cool that I want to share with you guys. And uh, I figure let's hop on a plane and go take a look. So we found a Namco Funscape, and inside is a Star Wars Battle Pod. It's like this 360 degree crazy ass controls. Yeah. So I don't know how good this is gonna look, but fuck it, let's go.
Alright guys, so we're here in London, uh, just the outskirts of London with Alex from the Nintendo Arcade. How you doing guys? And uh, we're gonna kind of take a look around his collection and see what he's got. So we're starting out here in the backyard. This, what do you got here? This is the cocktail graveyard. <laughs> <laughs> this is where all the cocktails, well, they come to die, but then they're resurrected again. Um, we get them shot blasted, powder coated, and then looking brand new. So what do we got here? This is a this sheriff? This is actually a sheriff cocktail, yeah. I'm sure it's sheriff. Can you see there on that? Uh, uh yeah. Number? Has it got WG? Uh, what do we got here? TSF? Oh no, that's a, that's a space fire bird. That's a space fire bird. This one's a sheriff. That should say WG on there, uh, is it? Oh no, it's not on there. Maybe I've taken it off. Yeah, no, no I've taken it off because I didn't want it getting ruined. But that is one of these, that's the sheriff one anyway. So that one I'll be using. This will get shot blasted, and I've got the exact color match for that. And that will all get powder coated, and it'll look brand new. But I'll show you my space launcher in a minute. And that's had the same treatment. Cool. Um, yeah, well, these later ones, the color ones, had these little basins in the bottom. Okay, here. The later ones had, for the color monitor, had this uh, little basin here for the monitor to fit in. But the early ones didn't have that, the black and white ones. And they're all different. Every model I've seen are different. These coin boxes are different sizes. The transformers are in different places. Um, even the speaker grills here, see that, are on that side? The speaker grill on, on this one is on that side. Hmm. I don't know why they keep changing it around, but... Were they just, but they were, some of these were the same year, too. They just Same year, but yeah. Almost, not com not completely different, but just slight alterations they've they've done over time. Huh. Which is very interesting. Um, but they kept the same colour. Um, and that's that's amazing you're just keeping them out here. Like they're gonna get blasted well, out anyway, right? Yeah, they're gonna get blasted, it doesn't matter. Yeah. You know, they've got to go through that process, so it doesn't really matter if they get wet. And what do you do for like cleaning up these? Are you uh, are you tumbling these? I don't know. I don't use them. I, I just have a little switch, a little button on here yeah, yeah. to coin up, so I don't use any any coins anymore, which I'll show you on the space launcher. Welcome to the Nintendo Arcade. <laughs> Here we are. Oh, crazy. <laughs> it's small, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It, it's honestly a lot bigger than I thought it was going to oh, be, really? though. Yeah. You know, I've swapped this room around many times. I used to have all the machines down this line, row. So I had five machines down here at one point. Yeah. And then realized, you know, <laughs> to really maximize, because I'm a proper gamer, I love playing Super Nintendo, NES games, everything. New games. I can't just come down and just play arcade games. I've got to play a bit of everything. So yeah. I've got rid of a couple of cabs, Popeye, Donkey Kong 3. I've got my favorites here now, obviously, Sheriff, as you can see. That's Shitty crazy rare cool. cabinet. <laughs> it's probably the most beautiful cabinet I've ever seen. I'm not just saying that because I own it. It is absolutely beautiful. I mean, look at this. This is a Noz, new old stock control panel that was given by an American guy um, that he was hanging on to with the, the prospect of hopefully one turning up one day. And ten years he had it. And, and mine turned down, he said, you've got to have it. Because yeah. mine, mine had a crack across here. Yeah. So he sent this, it arrived two days before Christmas. Is that, so that's just vinyl art, or what is that? Um, I think it is vinyl, yeah. It's It's not screen printed on me, I don't think. Yeah, it's too, it's too elaborate to yeah. be screen printed. Yeah. It almost looks real when you see pictures of them online, yeah. but. It was in amazing condition. Oh yeah. And any knocks and chips on it just kind of add to that whole uh, s s uh, bar look, you know, the old cowboy s saloon look. Look, look at the little chips up here. Yeah, yeah. That's all the damage on it, really. That's amazingly cool. Yeah. Do you want me to turn the light up a bit? Okay. You can see a bit better. Um, this I had powder coated. So it's the same colour as the cocktails. Um, had a big sticker on here and it was really badly damaged and rusting all down. I don't do rust. If there's any rust on any of my machines, it goes. Yeah. It all gets powder coated. And this isn't stock though, this is, you've had no, that. I had that made up by my friend Victor. Um, laser etched on there. And that's the character from the game, Jack. Yeah. Which is pretty cool. And we'll just use that to coin up. 
Huh. Inside. So inside, everything's original still? Everything's original. I've just taken the coin mech off, that's all. Yeah. Original box. Slightly different shape than oh, the Donkey wow. Kong one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's not... Square. Yeah, it's not square. But it's the original one. Which is that, nice. That's so it could fit into the monitor tray, eh? I guess so, yeah. yeah. The monitor's up here, you see it's down the bottom. Yeah, with a mirror on the back. Exactly, yeah, half yeah. mirror. So, I think, um, well, don't know for sure, because we've never seen a space launch upright. Um, but I think the was the radar scope more at the bottom. It wasn't, was it? Uh, sure no, was the he cabin. the heli fire was. The heli fire. So the heli fire must have been a half mirror as well. I think so. Yeah. It's I want. I want to see the heli fire plays, which is not a lot, really, for a game. Yeah, no. But you know, with these early cabinets, these early games, the late seventies, early eighties, I don't think really did have much play. It wasn't till. You know, the real classics came out like Donkey Kong, Space Invaders, that's when they really hit off. You know, mm -hmm. those were the games that kids were interested in. But I remember playing this back in the day as a kid. Yeah, yeah. And that's why I wanted these this, games. This play. actual upright. Well, well not this it, specific one, but. Not this specific one. We, in the UK, we got um, a company called Bellfruit mm -hmm. make a lot of these games. They made fruit machines as well. So I probably played on one of those cabinets. But I remember the game, and you know, I wanted this game so much. I travelled all the way to Luxembourg to get this. Yeah. In my little van, <laughs> and I absolutely love it. And this is the new bezel that I got oh, wow. recently. It's got these. Still has the stripes. red in it. Yeah. It's got the red. And Betty, the character, the damsel in distress. Everybody thinks Donkey Kong is the first game with a kind of a storyline. This yeah. one's really got the first game with a storyline. It's got Betty, who you have to rescue from the gangs. That's a classic Miyamoto thing, right? It like is, that's... it is. And the horse as well is very Miyamoto, isn't it? Yeah. That you get in Zelda. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, it's first appearance in this game. Um, that's so yeah, cool. Yeah, these characters, I mean, he was an artist, wasn't he, Miyamoto? Yeah. So I'm pretty sure he would have designed all of these. And my bezel was missing the, the lipstick, the lips, and the red around the... Uh, the sombreros. Hat, sombreros. And there... So that's cool, and there's even there's clouds up in here. There's and clouds up there as well, which all that was missing on my one. Wow. Yeah. And someone said the first color to go is red when it's sun bleached. Yeah. And all the red was washed out of that. Huh. Well, and I, thought, I thought it was it was done now like intentionally. If it wasn't. It was How long have you had the new bezel on? Not long. Uh, January, I think. Oh, okay. This year. And it kind of just completed that cab. Every time I looked at it before, I always just thought, oh, it's just not quite 100%. <laughs> you know what it's like. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You want it looking perfect, don't you? And um, when this one turned up, I had to get this uh, bezel off this guy in France. But he wasn't selling it. I had to literally rip his arm off for it. <laughs> so that's cool to have. And I think it looks great with Junior and Donkey Kong either side. Yeah. Anything else you want to add to the collection anytime soon, or? Well, I've got the Sky Skipper. Yeah, that's, that's the, the big project. one. Yeah, yeah. that's all happening next year. And then that's it, really. I'm quite happy with what I've got. I mean, I, if I want to play Popeye, I guess I could play that in Sky Skipper if I change your control panel over, because it's a horizontal monitor. Yeah. I can play Donkey Kong 3 in there if I want to. You know, I've got everything I want in this room. Yeah. You know. And if you have a look over there, Space Launcher. Oh yeah, that's right. And that is extremely rare as well. That is the only Space Launcher I know of. I, th I don't think I've ever heard of another no, one, actually. Yeah. It's a fantastic game. You've got to have a go on it. It's a really cool game. You can get your Famicom in there. A little Famicom in there, yeah. Oh, is this the... Is this the, the you had a knockoff one, too, didn't you? A, uh, mm. I had a, a US Junior, didn't yeah. I, which was a fake. Yeah, 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 that's right. You have to watch out for that. I've just got these uh, share instruction details. Oh, crazy. Yeah, it's Japanese, so they're going to go right there on the, on the uh, cocktail version that I'm making at the moment. That's the one you're powder coating that's out there right yeah. now? Where do you keep like all of your monitors and all of your... Upstairs, which I can show you. Okay. This is cool. So then, as far as like your collection of other stuff you have going... So, um, I've got Wii. Yeah. I've got my little Zelda collection going on up here. I've got all my Versus boards up here for the... The red tent, which is down here, down there, which is what we've been yeah. <laughs> standing next to. Um, got my console, Super Nintendo being my favorite. 
Um, I've, that's taken over actually fairly recently, all my Super Nintendo games, so they're all up there. I love that system. NES games, Game Boy Advance is a good system. Oh, that's um, cool. Space Firebird. Yeah. Yeah. They're all original flyers. Oh, really? Yeah. If you shut the door, you'll see an original, extremely rare. Sky Skipper one. And Sheriff. Yeah, yeah. Oh, they wow. Are original flyers. You know, what we, flyers. you know what we need? We need new scans of these. Because yeah. <laughs> <laughs> when we were making those keychains, yeah. it was the worst yeah. thing in the yeah. world to find. So, I mean, the Sheriff one wasn't that bad, yeah. but the Skyskipper one, that's amazing. Mm. And your, your buddy's redoing the artwork, mm. you said, for this, yeah. based off of that. Yeah. It's very cool. And it's a fantastic little game. Yeah, oh, yeah. I can't wait till that's finished. So yeah, it's just quite small, oh, cool. but I have everything I need in here, you know. Some old before Mario. Yeah, uh, some old little Nintendo stuff toys that uh, Nintendo made. I mean, Nintendo made many toys. Yeah. Before they made video games. You know, people always worry about all oh, the Wii U's not doing very well. <laughs> they've got stacks of money, Nintendo. Oh yeah. And you know, they've been in worse places than right now. So yeah, lots of uh, really cool Famicom games. My recent purchase, which is this, this is a really cool game. This is Pocky and Rocky 2. Okay. It's very cool, it's a little shoot 'em up. Oh wow. It's a beautiful artwork on there. Oh yeah, yeah. Absolutely fantastic game, it really is. So you, uh, you're you sizing down a little bit your Game & Watch collection, is that true? Um, or are you keeping what you... I had a really big <coughs> Game & Watch collection. It's been downsized for quite a while now, actually. Um, since actually I got into the arcade machines. I actually thought for the price of a lot of Game & Watch now you could buy an arcade machine for which you can get more fun out of. Yeah, yeah. You know, so that's what I did. And they're just, they're just overpriced now. Yeah. It's crazy money. So I've just kept the ones that I used to play when I was back in the day. Yeah. I'm still trying to find um, a reasonably priced new in box um, Super Mario Brothers, the dual screen one. Oh yeah. Yeah, with yeah. the with the bottles going back yeah, and sorry, forth. Another one, yeah. yeah, that was that was it's my quite favorite. A common one though, you should go yeah. pick that one up. Well I, I haven't found one that's agreeable yet with yeah. the price. Like I've seen a couple but like we had a couple in town in Calgary yeah. but nothing nothing too crazy. I've got all my books down there. So I've got my four Mario books by Florent. Oh this is by Eric Voskill. He's got an amazing Nintendo collection, as you can see, that's his collection there. Really nice guy. And this is all about the history of Nintendo. There you can see a lot of the early Nintendo games. And in fact, they, Eric and Florence, uh, were quite a big influence to me in the beginning of my collecting because they really showed me what Nintendo had brought out, mm -hmm. games that I never heard of. So it was their, really their fault that I got into <laughs> trying to hunt down all the rare games. So we have them to blame. Yeah, Monkey Magic. Yeah. I've seen the cab for Monkey Magic. It's nothing like you like It's completely it's different. Just isn't different. It? Yeah, yeah, completely different. And that came up that was only dumped into Maine recently early, early this year. Yeah, yeah. I know the guy who done it. Um Early Space Fever. I used to have I sold that actually this year, Space Fever. It wasn't getting a lot of play. Um But yeah, it's interesting. Some nice stuff in here, the Game & Watch. So that's a really nice book, totally recommend that. And of course, these are Florent, Florent uh, George's books. And there's all the history of Nintendo toys, playing cards. Yeah, back to the original card yeah, days. Yeah, this eh? is a fantastic book. There's oh, the there's the Monkey Magic. Magic. Yeah. yeah. So, games I've owned, I've had Space, I still have the board, Space Fever, so I can still put the PCB in there and play it. Mm -hmm. Monkey Magic was offered offered to me to, for quite a lot of money. I turned it down. Sheriff is my game. I've got all three versions of this. I've got the upright, the uh, trim, trim line, line yeah. and the cocktail. You, the trim line's here too, right? Yeah, I can show you that. It's okay. not working though, unfortunately. Oh. These uh, new power supply. We we had a, a trim line, uh, one of those Sega trim lines, show up locally. Uh, well, in BC actually, not long okay. ago, and uh, I. I was kind of on a on a fight to try and get it, but I, yeah. I missed out on the last bit. I don't know what it is. I think how much you go for? I the guy wanted like six hundred for it. I said I will right. give you I'll give you eight, and I'll drive out there to Kelowna right now. All oh, right. 
And uh, I said, I don't care. You just, I'm, I'm paying you yeah. to hold my place in line. And yeah. he didn't get back to me. Because uh, yeah, I've seen a few of these turn up, like the head on. Um, there was another one. I remember the other one. But there was. Cause, Todd, Todd's Tucky's got a few, hasn't he? Yeah, it? yeah. Todd's got a couple. And then, but there were. Sega made some other games with that mm. trim line. Uh, Carnival. Carni that, that's what I think Carnival was, was in that, mm. initially. That's the one Todd's got, Carnival. Mm -hmm. You know, Sega did a upright sheriff as well. Oh, really? You know that, do you? No, I don't. There's only one in existence. It's in the UK. I know where it was. It was offered to me. But I thought, no, I'm just going to keep to the free Nintendo ones. Yeah. Is well, it actually, that's not a Nintendo. But is it the same artwork? or? Um, no, I can show you. It's completely different. Um, it's completely different shape. Because it looks like it's ban banditos around the same thing, right? Like, because I was yeah, 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 I was looking at getting like a bandito control panel from a buddy of mine, yeah, and then trying to to try and make a, a repro sheriff, yeah, because um, I want I want to have a sheriff in my collection, yeah, one of these days. Everyone should. Yeah, there's a space launcher. Yeah, upright. Look how beautiful that is. Is that a picture too? That's not just a. I yeah. don't know where he's got that picture from, but yeah, that, That's that a picture. bezel is what the... I've seen the bezel of that. It turned up in France this year, so we know it did exist, where a lot of people are saying it didn't. Yes, they did make a space launcher. They well, probably did make one of those as most well. Most people just see this flyer, Yeah, that's right? where they got it from, the flyer. And they think the drawing on the flyer is yeah. that's all that they wrote, right? Space Firebird, I've got that. Awesome game, absolutely love it. Helifire, not a big fan of. Radar Scope, not a big fan of. And then obviously you go on to... Don Kong Skyskipper. So, do we know what color the Skyskipper originally was? I like, do. <laughs> <laughs> but you're not telling. I'm not telling anyone. No, no, no. <laughs> um, yeah, would you Would uh, you tell how you figured it out though? Eventually, yeah. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah. We'll We'll know later this year in the review. You'll, you'll know soon enough. Yeah. yeah. Uh, Popeye, Don Kong Junior. I've had I've had a few punch outs as well. We've yeah. got a You've got a punch out. Uh, bezel up here. Yeah. Or uh, marquee. Have you had a punch out? Uh, no, I don't. But a, a friend of ours, a local collector, does. Yeah, it's um, pretty cool, isn't it? Yeah, we we picked up uh, a Zaxxon from him not long mm. ago, and we did a video That's on a that. Hard game. Yeah. Oh, it's damn awful, isn't it? Brutal really? game. A lovely cat. Yeah. But yeah. The game's awful. Cool. So that's. Uh, this is it. That's the that's the Nintendo <laughs> arcade. It's small, isn't it? Yeah. What's well, it's it's small but cool. It's a lot wider than I thought it was yeah. gonna be. So got your amiibo collection. Yeah, my amiibo collection. You see, I'm a big Nintendo fan. I just love what they do. It's just fun. Yeah. And I think a lot of games now have lost that. They've become simulations of life. Yeah. Uh, and not gameplay. You know. Have you not got the Yoshi's? The Yoshi. The knit Yoshi's. Come on. Oh, those? No, I haven't. No, I've only kept the Smash Brothers lineup. Oh, uh, okay, okay. Because I do like the Smash Brothers. I was going to say, because you've got the, the retro set. Yeah. Cause... I, that is the Smash Brothers lineup, that's all. That's oh, okay. Really? Because yeah. in. Well, I guess, yeah, these are Smash Brothers, but. I mean, Yoshi's in Smash Brothers, that's in there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's yeah. not the yarn one. No, 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 okay. Yeah, because I was going to say, we've. Yours, your uh, your Rob and your Game and & Watch and your uh, Duck Hunt ones, That did that come in a three pack as well? No. No, you did buy them separately? Yeah. So in Canada, we actually have a three pack that has. The two of them and him with the little his other posable oh, figures. Oh, okay, yeah. You've yeah. Got the other posable things with him, you can swap around. Yeah, yeah, same, same. But all three of those come in one package. Yeah. So, and I, I was, I've, I've got them, and I've got uh, the eight bit Mario ones, yeah. and all three colors of the it's Yoshi. Really, so it's such a great game as well. You know, for a while, like Love everybody this. else, I was thinking. <laughs> This game is nuts. I just can't get on with this game at all. The mechanic is just all over the place, but you have to give it a bit of time. Once you get into it, it is a class game. It really is. A fantastic game. So much fun. And this is a Metroid uh, spaceship here. Yeah. I'm a big fan of Metroid, so I'm just going to yeah. turn this on. There should be a little switch at the back here. Oh. Oh well, my batteries run out. I must have left it on. It does light up normally, but the batteries have run out. Which is a shame. But it's pretty cool, huh? Yeah, yeah. I do like Metroid. Same. This is a super Famicom book. Oops. It's box art collection. Yeah, yeah. I actually haven't opened it yet. <laughs> <laughs> 
around to it. That's cool. Yeah. So, what's this Neo Geo Wii? Uh, that's a control stick. So, I don't know if you know, the Wii had all the Neo Geo games you yep. could play. So, which I is got pretty the, cool. Um, so, I've uh, got mine soft modded to play all of them. Okay. So, whenever I play Neo Geo games, just plug that in. I got the Metal Slug anthology actually. Got everything on there. Yeah, yeah. All, that, that Wii is actually modded with loads of stuff. <laughs> so, I can play everything, which is pretty cool. That's crazy. Yeah, the Wii was a pretty good system. Really, it had a lot, of, a lot of shovelware, but there's some good games on there. I think. Cool. You know, there's enough games in Nintendo's lineup to keep you busy for a lifetime. Yeah. Well, you're yeah. gonna be here for a lifetime doing it too, right? <laughs> you know, you know, you don't have to go anywhere else. Huh? You know. <laughs> That's awesome. It's cool, isn't it? Shooting trainer. This was offered to me uh, fairly recently. There's two in a barn in France, in pretty poor condition, but I do have a film upstairs for this game. Huh. I have rolls, reels and reels of film for this game. So, do you remember this? Uh, no, I don't. That's There was lots of games like this back in the 70s. Okay. And Nintendo made quite a lot of money out of these. This was their thing back in the early 70s. They did a lot of shooting galleries in Japan. Duck Hunt and stuff like that all originated from these bowling, big bowling alleys. Yeah, yeah. And Wild Gummon was another one. And we had it over here in the UK. But I mean, it's, I mean, it's such a huge machine. You can oh, see yeah. it's massive. And this is like your um, uh, uh, sub games. Oh, what is it? Oh, what, the uh, Battle Shark? Battle Shark. Yeah, it's like yeah. Battle Shark. It runs a 16mm movie inside here. So the inside here is a projector. Mm -hmm. And it reflects the film up through. Uh, um, a selection of mirrors and on the film you've actually got two sequences um, so if you shoot someone uh, the mirror will flip and it will show the bottom half of the film of the guy falling to the ground and dying <laughs> um, which is pretty amazing so why didn't you pick those up um, they're huge I don't have the room don't have the space no. yeah, yeah. and to be honest with you, I don't have the time uh, anymore to put into this stuff you yeah. know I'm quite into my console stuff as well as you can see I just like playing games I mean I don't mind fixing and do oh, those cocktails are easy to do you know mm -hmm. and I enjoy doing the sheriff I mean it's only the coin door and a few other bits but I, to be honest with you, I haven't got the facility to to uh, sand down a cabinet respray it all here yeah. you need a proper garage for that because it's messy yeah or build a paint booth in your backyard yeah yeah you know, I can't be doing all that. You yeah. Know, family life as well. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know, so, so the money is just really just keeping these going. Yeah. That's all I need to do. Well, your red tent's in good condition. This you is. Think so? Yeah. Well, this is this is about what mine's in. Um, oh, okay. You've got newer plexi up here, and yeah. I've got the same wear down here. Oh, right, okay. You know, so so buttons are wear. So you yours all resprayed as well. Okay. Um, one of them's gonna stay exactly like this, uh, mm -hmm. just because. It, I mean, I know what it's like to go through and completely redo a game. I get, yeah. you know, but I like I like the patina. Was it I've got one. one, didn't he? Was it uh, yeah, he got he did three. three yeah, yeah, he did he's three at the same great time. Videos, isn't he? Yeah, yeah. He's. I think I think he said he was sick of sick of it after he did the three of them. Really. So, um, but yeah. So I've got I've got the one that it's just going to stay and it's going to live like this mm -hmm. and it's going to have uh, balloon fight and or Mario Brothers Excite Bike exactly what you've got here. Yeah, they're and the only games really. Aren't really, they? they're my they're my favorites. Yeah, and then uh, or or if I can get Nazarene's boards, the universe's boards, when he gets them done. Yeah. Um, and then the other one I've got is missing a monitor. Yeah. Um, so that's going to be a little hard to find, but I've got all the innards for it. I've got two complete control panels ready to mm -hmm. go for it. Um, I've got a button collection, uh, like you've never seen. Yeah. <laughs> Because I've been hoarding them. Button. I still haven't put I that in yet. Saw that up there. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. And it's been sitting up there since I brought it. <laughs> what's well, it's it's a pain in the butt to get that off. Oh yeah. Uh, but like you can do it now. Like you can if you do it once, you can do it a million oh, no, times. I'll get, I'll get, I can do it. It's just yeah. getting around to it. It's yeah. One of those jobs, isn't it? And then so my other one, it's just like I said, it's just a shell. So it's in the middle of getting painted right. and restored right now. So this. This is interesting. This, oh wow! From this is Nintendo. Yeah. This is the artwork out of the Battle Shark arcade cabinet. Yeah, I recognize it. 1978, right? So this acted like a uh, backdrop, a track screen, if you yeah. like. 
So the film would be projected onto here through a half mirror and it would get a 3D effect. Okay. And this ship actually, we looked into it, was um, actually the same boat that JFK, uh, I don't know whether he was, uh, what do you, not a pilot, what do you call someone? He was, he was stationed on the, yeah, 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 okay. What do you someone drives a boat? Uh, Sa not sailor. He was captain. Captain, yeah. Captain, yeah, yeah. I don't know whether he was a captain, but he did serve on this particular boat. On the 541. Yes. It's like a wow. patrol ship. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because I was so interested for why did they choose this particular ship in the game? Yeah. And it's weird, it's in a Japanese game. Yeah. You know, after all the Second World War, why yeah. did they use this? You know, it's, it's quite interesting. Um, but it's kind of like a cigarette, you know those cigarette pictures you used to get in cigarette packets? It's kind of like that, that kind of style of artwork. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's my... Uh, I know what that is. Set off the power? No, I've got that in my pocket. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we use, we use these too. Yeah, great, aren't we? Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, that's it. I mean, it's pretty interesting. And I kind of got to that point in the hobby. I've been in this hobby now 10 years, and it's kind of like I'm just happy and content with what I've got. Yeah, well, I mean... Just to keep it going. <laughs> exactly. You're right. Just to have one rare game like that in your collection is enough, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, yeah. anyone happy? You gotta have a go, man. Yeah, well, well we will. Let's uh, to film let's take a look at some of the other stuff you've got upstairs, oh, okay. and then we'll we'll go take a look. All right, so we're in another section of your place. <clears throat> so this is the Sega trim line that, similar to what Todd has. So this is the only known sheriff version, and um, we don't really know much about these sort of cabinets. I believe that uh, Nintendo at this time really didn't have much distribution uh, around the world and Sega already was in the market so I think Nintendo asked Sega whether they could distribute a lot of their games mm -hmm. and um, Sega were already making these cabinets they probably just asked them can we put this game in his cabinet and I think this was probably at a trade fair because it's got hardly any plays on it at all Really, it's got about 6,000 plays which is nothing at all yeah. And if you look inside, it's absolutely neat. Oh, wow. Look at that. It's like it's just come out of the factory. Look at it. Unbelievable. I mean, you get a little bit of surface rust on some of the parts, it's but... Any, anything, guys. Look, and it's got here, the last time it was serviced or inspected by date December 19th 1979 huh so the okay. serial numbers are just arbitrary like they'll just make yeah, those up I as they go probably right? a certificate for it to go into an arcade or whatever but it's never been in an arcade you can yeah. just tell it's got 6,000 plays on the on there on the counter so not only is it the only sheriff trim line known in existence yeah. it's home use only really I don't think, think about so it. yeah I mean there's a little bit of dent in this this is a cigarette ashtray yeah there's a dent in here but that could have been caused by moving it around yeah you know there were cigarettes in there yeah um but yeah i don't think it's been an arcade this wouldn't have lasted five minutes in an english no. arcade it would have been bashed up and, and, and i'll tell you another key factor as well a lot of these control panels were all really badly worn yeah because they're just screen printed onto alley yeah so pretty much every single cocktail uh, the Nintendo cabinet I've had, I've had to have these reproduced because of the wear. But this has no wear at all. This is original. And it's got no wear on it. Yeah. It's never been used. Yeah. And it's a Japanese one. Where did you find this thing? Well, the funny thing is, this popped up when I, just, just when I started collecting about 10 years ago. And I was already into Nintendo. I had a big game watch collection. And I said to my mate Victor, who does a 10 pence arcade podcast, he came up on eBay. I said to him, look at this, this is a Nintendo game. It looks like Sheriff, the game I used to play, but we couldn't really see this. the pictures on eBay were really bad. And the guy wanted something like £500 for it, which back then was quite a lot for an arcade game. Um, <clears throat> and I turned it down. It must have been on eBay for a good six months. No, oh, it. And then, you know, the more I got into the hobby, the more I researched stuff. I realised, shit, I'm, that was a missed opportunity there. Yeah, that yeah. That was a really rare cabinet. So I had a saved search on eBay. 
Sheriff arcade machine saved on my eBay. Yeah. Nothing turned up. And then, when did I get this? A year ago? About a year ago, yeah. yeah. A year ago, my mate Ollie texted me, said, Alex, there's a sheriff on eBay. And he sent me a link to it. And it was exactly the same cabinet that I saw. Same, this the, is the same, same one? The ones I saw seven, eight years ago on eBay. Exactly the same one. Huh. <laughs> and they wanted 300 quid for it. No way. And they listed it as rare Sega game. Because it, it, well, didn't they have no Nintendo in the in the in the. Well, but there's no. Are there? What do you have for Nintendo logos on here? Like there should be one well, on the yeah, control panel, isn't there? Well, no. They're all, well, there's there's a Nintendo on the board. Yeah. So it's a TWG. That's Nintendo. Yeah. It's a Sheriff board. It's got Nintendo on it. I know that because I've got others. Yeah. So, the hardware's Nintendo. Everything else is Sega. Huh. Everything else is Sega. So if you look around here, you'll see the Sega plate. Oh, wow, yeah, yeah. Look at that. How cool is that? And to think, these companies became like bitter yeah, rivals. I know. Isn't that amazing? I mean, now you get like <laughs> Sonic and Mario yeah. go to the Olympics, but still, yeah. who cares about back that, in right? In the 90s, these, these were main rivals, but people didn't realize they were working together for a long time. So that instruction decal I've got just made up, they, these are going to come off because they're faded. This was really bright yellow, so I'm going to take all these off and put those other ones on there. And get a new glass. This is actually getting completely a total restored. overhaul. Nothing changing to it. I'm just. We don't yeah. really have to do anything to this. No, this thing I'm isn't getting, in no, mint I'm just, condition. No, I mean, the monitor needs capping. Oh, okay. It's never been capped in 35 years. Yeah. Um, the power supply needs sorting out, um, and just the instruction decals which have faded. Clean a little bit more of the cigarette. Yeah, and you know, I was thinking maybe getting these chrome, but you know, they're not too bad. Oh no, they're, I, they're fine. I'm picky and I'm anal about things, yeah. and I would give these the, a pass. The only damage on the cabinet is that corner there. You can see a bit of the veneer has come off. Oh yeah, but that's not hard yeah, to. Yeah, it's not too bad. Replace. Other than that, You're just gonna repaint the no I'm gonna diamond leave plate. That. I'm gonna leave that. As you can see, it's a, a beautiful machine. Yeah. A beautiful. It's not like the upright, but it's unique in its own way. It's exquisite. Yeah. You know, the upright. You can see it's a Nintendo cabinet. This is a Sega cabinet with a twist. And I think it's fantastic. And do you know what? It's a fantastic way to play games. Just stand up to it. Yeah. Honestly, I don't know why they didn't make more of these. This would have been the best cocktail. Yeah. In Japan, they call these cocktails. Yeah. In UK, we call these cocktails. Yeah. Well, in Canada, we call these cocktails. Yeah. This would this would really be a, this would be a cabaret to me. This is Space Firebird. <clears throat> so that's all working. This is quite a unique one as well. Yeah. There's not many of these. So this one's been restored. So this has all been powder coated. Oh, so this is what the ones out in the yard will end up looking like. Yeah, you know ETN? Have you heard of ETN? Yeah. He did the artwork for this. Yeah. This is silk screened onto Alley, which is absolutely beautiful, because as I told you earlier, all of these got worn down, because people would have rubbed their knees against them yeah. as they were playing. So did you, you redid all the wood on this yeah, and everything? Yeah, that's really easy. You can get this on eBay. It's an iron-on veneer. You iron off the other old stuff, and iron on the new, and then just var make sure you varnish it. But it does crack, you see, if you don't varnish it, because mm -hmm. it, it shrinks. New glass, which I had a bit of a pain in the ass with, because didn't make it properly the right size. Um, and what's, what's unusual about this Space, space Firebird is it's got a logbook on there. It's the only Space Firebird I've known to have a logbook. Like in the settings? Yeah, so... I coin up. And just get a little score and then die. You get to put your name in. Does it save the high scores? Yeah. Well, it, it logs them, it's like, a bit like your Nintendo reverse system. Huh. Um, when you turn it off, they, they disappear. They disappear, yeah, yeah. It hasn't got a save kit as such, but it's like a log, they call it a log book, don't they? Yeah. So, <clears throat> I think it's a great little shoot 'em up. It's one oh, of yeah. Nintendo's best shoot 'em ups. I actually prefer it than Galaxian. Yeah, yeah. Not as much as Galaga, but it is a very good game. 
I love the way the star field just twinkles in the background. And for its time, a lot of people did say the graphics on this were really, really good, really mm. well detailed. So here you see. Wow. I've never, I know I've owned a lot of Space Firebirds and I know a lot of people with Space Firebirds and that's the only one with a logbook. Huh. And the weird thing is, oh, I didn't show you. Instead of having Nintendo down here, it's got the last five or six letters of the alphabet. Mm-hmm. It doesn't have Nintendo, but it is a Nintendo PCB. Really? It's been hacked just to have a logbook in there. That was the only reason to add that in there? I don't know, it's just some weird hack. I don't know why they've done it. And there's no, oh. like, like, is it, was it mod to the ROMs? There's definitely or? a Nintendo PCB in there. You can see it's all original. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, the monitor's still got its original stickers on it. No, they're repros. No, but on the monitor chassis, oh, or yeah, on the monitor is, frame. Yeah, everything else is. I haven't put the serial number. That's a Sheriff tabletop in there, waiting to go. For the new Sheriff cocktail. Did you see the artwork on there? Yeah, yeah. So you've got, yeah, you've got all three forms of the Sheriff yeah. then. So your yeah, Sheriff collection is, yeah. Yeah, there is another Sheriff, and that's a Sega Upright. Yeah. And there's only one of those in the world. And then there's the Bandito. And there's the Bandito, yeah, yeah. which you got in America. Yeah. Still don't know whether that's an official license or not. Hmm. Which is really odd. Space Firebird. Um, I've got a few bits of bobs over here. So this is the Wild Gunman film. Oh, crazy. Original Wild Gunman film. Are those uh, Wild Gunmen still up? Available in they France? Are. They're still available as far as I know. I know the contact. What else have I got? Mm. Oh, this is quite unusual. Yeah. <clears throat> Present to you. Okay, <laughs> this is a, a Mario Venture. Imagine this is Super Mario, but this is kind of like a uh, That's a bootleg. A bootleg. Yeah. That's, That's crazy. Cool, though, yeah, it? yeah, yeah, yeah. So you can have that if you oh, want. Oh, sweet. Yeah, no, totally. I'll take that. Go on, go on your arcade. Yeah, well, that'll go up. Well, I've so got... That's what we got in the UK, you see? Oh, so this was the, the Mario version. Bootleg. Yeah. That <laughs> That's cool? awesome. Thank you. Because <laughs> I've got I've got my other Mario Brothers, the one I pulled off my Donkey Kong, yeah. um, up in my uh, mounted up in my my work. <laughs> sweet. So, well, thanks. One there as well. Um, Old manuals and schematics. Old manuals, yeah. Thank you, Rose. David Lee Roth. Oh, nice. <laughs> All right. Yeah, big fan of David Lee Roth. Space Fever manual. Radio scope manual. Yeah, there you go. No sky skipping manual. But the skyscraper manual exists, though. Probably. Yeah. Got the uh, monitors over here. The sheriff. Skyscraper PCBs in there in the flight case. Yeah, yeah. Um, one's ready to go out to uh, America. Yeah, but we're not talking about that. No. <laughs> and just just so everyone's aware, I know nothing <laughs> about what. Yeah. Legitimately, he will not tell me what's going on no. with that skyscraper. Right, let's go down. So cool. Let's turn that off. All right, well, um, we're gonna go play a couple of games and uh, yeah, continue on from there. All right guys, so what we're gonna do now is we're gonna play a quick little gameplay of Sheriff. So we've got Alex's Sheriff here, uh, which Alex, you are the world record holder. Yeah, in no this one's game. beat me yet. <laughs> so there's only two of these games, uh, these uprights known in existence. So uh, we're just gonna coin up here. Yeah. And uh, so I'm just using this eight way here and then I turn with the knob, let's uh, play her. If you get anywhere near my world record, I'll just have to turn the power off. Okay, so you be ready for that. <laughs> you be ready for that. I'm just going to do a one player game? One player game, yeah. Alright, All right, so get ready. I don't know if you guys can see this. So, the controls will, will show up a, a little picture of the controls here in a second on the screen, but I'm just moving him around. Uh, his Eight name ways. is Mr. Jack. Yeah, that's Jack, and you're trying to shoot the band, well, the gangs, the Mexicans, and that's the Condor now appearing on the screen. And I just want to avoid the bullets. Yeah. It's 
kind of like the Matrix, they kind of move really slowly, don't they? <laughs> <laughs> and so that's the level on the bottom there? That's what, the one? Yes, yeah, so let me just make level one. But you can hide behind these if you want to. Barriers. And I want to get that condor? Okay, yeah, so what? You've got to shoot those really quick now. You get double points for the yellow ones. This is fairly responsive too, like I'm... There's a slight delay in the joystick, have you noticed? A slight delay. It's not bad though. Yeah. And you get a... All my three versions of this game, this is actually the hardest one to play on because the joysticks are slightly delaying it. <laughs> nice shoot. Ooh. Yo, Samity Sam, he's 12 gun shooter. Jesus. I want to be just. This is an early Robotron, isn't it? A little bit, yeah. <laughs> isn't it? I just want to be very careful because I don't want to. This yeah, is one of only two, and I don't no, want to beat no, up the no, controls. <laughs> then when people come over to my arcade, I'm like, I just cringe every yeah. time they mash a button or anything. Yeah, it's, it's, a, it's a museum piece, but it's also a working museum piece. <laughs> that you can actually play. Ooh. Oh. Oh. oh! Right in the head. Two lives, three lives? Oh, you didn't even get to to see uh, Betty. Ah. Do you want me to show you Betty? Yeah, let's let's try that again here. All right. All right. So Alex is up. So you've got a lovely little horse down the bottom there that he's riding. We're going to try and rescue the damsel in, in distress, which is Betty. I love how you've actually got uh, desperados. Beer yeah, as right. well. That's proper fiend. Yeah. So what I do is I take the corner ones out first if I can. I've had a few of drinks. So I don't know how I'm going to do. So is that a uh, like a row of like fence posts stopping you from? Yeah. It's the, it's the ranch. The OK Corral. Mm. I mean, it's taking bits from Space Invaders, isn't it? With a yeah. instead of the spaceship, you've got the Condor. I just like it. It's like it's a 360 degree. You're not just shooting up, right? What I like about it, every game is different. You know, you can go around in the middle, and they can attack from different directions and different ways. So it's really random, then. It is totally random, and that's what I like about it. You get you get used to Donkey Kong, right? You get used to playing the same level. You do. Well, I mean, Donkey Kong is random as well, isn't it? I mean, Donkey yeah. Kong is a fantastic game. But there are games with set patterns, and you do get bored of them, don't you? Yeah. This is not one of them. No. This is just like Donkey Kong, like Robotron. Every game's different. Mm -hmm. It's just a very primitive form of that. That's oh, yeah, all. yeah, yeah. It never gets boring. I just love it. absolutely love it. And you know, it's got a lot of nostalgia for me. It's a game I played when I was a kid. I could never work out because it's a half mirror. I was always looking around the back of the arcade machine to see how how they were doing it because it looks further back. Yeah. It? But it's down below, right? Yeah. <laughs> That's I so cool. That one. So what is your all-time high score on Sheriff? Oh. Sorry. My high score is. 49,000. And what's the highest level you've been to? Well, I've been round... I've looped it three times. Okay. Now, what happens when you loop it is your score multiplies. So... Oof. If you get 8,000 on the first loop, the second loop, you'll get 18,000 if you make it to the second loop. So once you get to sort of 22, 23,000, it only takes one loop and you're up in the sort of 49,000. Huh. So all I need to do is one more loop and I've broken the Bandido world record. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's the one, <laughs> that's the one I'm after, the Bandido world record, because it's, you know, it's pretty much the same game, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. Well, they won't, the guys at, at um, you know the guy? Twin Galaxies won't, won't 
They'll consider these separate games though, right? Yeah, they will do, yeah. But for me, you know, I think it's just got more weight behind it. A little bit, yeah. Yeah. I mean, the games, the, the actual programming is virtually identical. Is it? And the music's the same? I've never played I, a band either. No, I've, I've only seen the video and I... Someone will probably comment on the video. If you know the difference, please comment down on the video. Yeah. And we don't know whether uh, Nintendo officially licensed it to XD, I don't know. Yeah. We don't know that, or whether it was just a, a bootleg. So now we've got to level three, got the bonus, score multiply. So I've got 2,500. There's a damsel, Betty. Crazy. And this is what we see on the flyer too, yeah. is the hearts, yeah. And then now my score's multiplied to 5,000. Jeez. So, that's basically, I could go on forever guys, so I'll just die. <laughs> but you get the gist of it, it is a fantastic game. Th this is fun, like this is like, compared to like Donkey Kong. Yeah. This is, this is that same story, like there's a story to it, you've got the cast. Yeah. Down the side, you've got Mr. Jack, Betty, the gangs, yeah. the Condor. It's got some real characters to it, like Donkey Kong. Yeah. And you can see where they got, you know, the, the characters circled around the bezel in Donkey Kong. They're circled here, but down one side. Yeah. So that's where it originated from, Sheriff. Yeah. Which is pretty cool. Crazy. All right, guys, so that'll do it for another episode of the Canadian Arcade. I want to thank Alex from the Nintendo Arcade for having us here in England, in London, to uh, take a look at his collection. Uh, if you guys want to check out his channel, we're going to leave a link to it down below in the description. Uh, make sure you go and subscribe to him. Uh, if you have any questions, leave them down in the comments section. And, uh, yeah, that'll, that'll do it. Cheers, guys. Thanks very much. See ya. So somehow, we've stumbled onto the set of Moonraker. You haven't seen that movie. It's a Bond movie, kids. Ask your parents. It's really good. Not the best. Actually, it's pretty bad. But it's still decent. Better than some of the other shitty ones. Anything by Pierce Brosnan. Including Goldeneye.